Slow decline or slow wilt is another important disease of black pepper caused mainly by plant parasitic nematodes. In Indonesia, it is known as pepper yellows disease. The disease is prevalent in most of the pepper growing countries. The burrowing nematode or Radopholus similis and different species of root knot nematodes are the major plant parasitic nematodes associated with black pepper. Nematodes are simple, multicellular, roundworms but distinct from earthworms and flatworms. Majority of nematode species that attack plants are microscopic. They mostly feed on roots using piercing mouth parts called stylets. The presence of a stylet is the key diagnostic sign differentiating plant parasitic nematodes from all other types of nematodes. In addition, the movement of nematode infested plants or plant parts will spread the parasites. Typical root symptoms indicating root knot nematode attack are root knots or galls and root lesions in the case of burrowing nematode. Symptoms on the above ground plant parts indicating root infection are a slow decline of the entire plant, wilting even with ample soil moisture, foliage yellowing and fewer and smaller leaves. The foot rot and slow decline diseases can be controlled by adopting an integrated approach consisting of cultural, biological and chemical methods. Presence of infected and dead vines becomes a perennial source for disease-causing organisms. Uprooting and burning of such vines, along with the root system, would reduce the chance of population buildup of these disease-causing organisms. Maintenance of cover crops like Arrakis pintoi would ensure organic matter buildup and moisture conservation. As water stagnation would lead to rapid multiplication of pathogens and consequent high disease incidence, good drainage should be provided by deepening the existing drains. Heavy shade and consequent humidity buildup are conducive for disease development. Hence, a judicious lopping operation wherever life standards are used is advisable to reduce the disease incidence. Pruning off tender runner shoots at the base of the vine and foliage up to about 30 cm above the ground level would reduce the chance of foliar infection and spread to upper regions of the bush. Healthy planting material production is the major strategy to contain the three major diseases of pepper, namely foot rot, slow decline and fusarium wilt. Root infection without any foliar symptoms goes unnoticed. Such apparently normal but infected roots would result in faster spread of diseases and poor establishment in the field. Identification of virus-free, healthy and consistently productive mother vines as source of planting material is the first step. The nursery mixture can be made pathogen-free by exposing the mixture spread under a transparent polythene sheet to direct sunlight for 30 to 45 days during summer. A process called soil solarization. Solarized or non-solarized nursery mixture should be mixed with biocontrol agents like VAM, Trichoderma herzianum or Trichoderma viridae, Pseudomonas fluorescens and Pochonia chlamydosporia. This nursery mixture can be used for raising rooted cuttings of black pepper. As an integrated approach, it is essential to use potassium phosphonate or Redomel mancozeb as a neat-based spray or soil drenching to avoid any possible root infection. Using healthy root rot and nematode-free rooted cuttings for replanting is the ideal strategy for disease management. During replanting, it is desirable to incorporate various biocontrol agents to the planting pit along with organics like farmyard manure. Soil application of compost or organic residues mixed with the biological control agents mentioned above 
once after the receipt of the first showers and again just before the end of rainy season may be practiced. Presence of adequate levels of soil moisture is important to ensure the multiplication of biological control agents. Chemical control measures are need-based and location-specific. This is to avoid pollution and cut down the input costs. Spraying the foliage with 1% borrow mixture just before the onset of heavy rainfall period is desirable to check the foliar infection. Redomyl mangozeb or potassium phosphonate can also be used in place of bodo mixture. Soil drenching with copper oxychloride would be ideal since its penetration to deeper layers is an added advantage compared to bodo mixture. Use nematicides only if they are essential. All nematicides are poisonous and must be used carefully following the directions on the container exactly. As the number of commercially available nematicides decreases, greater emphasis has been placed on the development of alternative IPM practices. Several biological control agents such as Pochonia chlamydosporia, Pseudomonas and Bacillus species are now commercially available. In an area with soil heavily infested with root node nematode, plan the root node nematode resistant line Paunami, released by Indian Institute of Spices Research.